in this whole process. Football is expensive, we all know. But it's a worthy investment. Maybe the governor or central bank will have been, should have alerted you to give us the statistics of how much of the remittances that accrue to this to the to the GDP comes from football and sports in general. Therefore, whatever we spend in football is a worthy investment. The current government since 2017 has put in a lot of efforts and resources and above all political will to ensure that we are where we are today. The incentive packages have increased. The environment and condition has improved significantly. Now we are boasting of ferrying the players in chartered flights. Your Excellency, this is not a small contribution to the achievements we are celebrating today. I am sure this young man sitting on my right hand side, and they have expressed it many times, and they will continue to cherish that guest show from you and your government. We at Football House, as I said, can only be appreciative of those guest shows. We have really improved our working conditions, and hence the victory that we are all celebrating, and we, we can take ownership of because we are the custodian of the administration of football in the country. Your Excellency, as I said, it's not a day of speeches. The objective of this gathering is known to all of us. After publicizing the budget of $117 million is for preparations to go to Afghan Cameroon in our Maiden Edison. Your government, after the inauguration of NCC, has put in many other possibilities of getting these funds. But we further extended to the public, general public to be part of the process. Hence the launching of the fundraising drive. We've been trying since the launching of the NCC, and thank God we are able to put together some amount of money. But that is far below our expectation. Hence, I will request for Your Excellency to preside over this fundraising gala dinner tonight to encourage the Gambians, especially the private sector and those in the public, running the public enterprises, and in the Gambian, to be part of history. And looking at this ground today, when I came at 7 o'clock, I was a bit jittery. But by half past eight, the place is full. And I'm sure when the mic, mic is taken round to the tables, we will not be able to meet the deficit of our budget, but we'll be able to bank enough to, prepare, to enable us to start the preparations for the upcoming qualifiers. You may wish to know that as we are going for Afghan in the, uh, less than 20 in Guinea, at the same time preparing for the World Cup 2026. So it's not an easy challenge. Despite our hope that this garden today will provide us the, the deficit that we need to meet our target in terms of the budget, but we have a windfall that we can put aside as a fixed deposit to enable us launch in the, uh, the upcoming uh, campaign. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our special appreciations goes to the Scorpions. 
this young man sitting around. The journey has not been smooth all the time. We quarrel, we fight, but at the end of the day we understand and we laugh over the victory that we all yearn for. They are very cooperative, are very understanding, and above all, very patriotic, patriotic and dedicated to the national flag that they'll be receiving from you today. And I have no doubt that even though as first timers in Afghan, there are a big surprise awaiting all of us. They are hungry for that trophy, and I'm sure they can do it. On that note, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all and wish you a very pleasant night. And above all, please dip into your coffers. The president would have to forego his very heavy schedule to be here this evening is for a purpose. Let's see what's going to be the final count. Thank you and good evening. Thank you very much. Because of reasons, our goodwill ambassadors, what surprised me most of the time is when we appeal, few come. But when it's time to celebrate and jubilate, a whole nation is on the move. Before anyone goes out here tonight, apart from the football players, these gallant scorpions, we're going to check all your pockets and hand over all those checks to the financier of the National Committee. Mr. Bajo, we thank you. You've been there when we needed the most.